Hi guys, now it's CEJ70 here with another Star Wars action figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at some vintage collection figures. First up I have the Star Wars Vintage Collection Rebel Fleet Trooper. And this is kind of, uh, some might say a mediocre kind of figure. He is a little bland, but if you're a fan of the original trilogy and a fan of the Rebels, this is definitely one guy you're going to want to have. And definitely a great army builder as well. Let's take a look at this guy. So he does look very nice, as you can see. He does have the Rebel Fleet Trooper helmet, which I've always been a fan of. It just looked really cool with the big uh, kind of speed bicycle kind of helmet. It always looked cool. He's got the black there and a little gray antennae, as well as that chin strap thing. He has a uh, blue shirt on, which has some nice details and the wrinkles and such. The joints aren't too obvious. And he has a black vest, which has some pouches sculpted on, which is nice. He has a belt there, which has a silver belt buckle. Has some uh, nice trousers there with some pockets. It's nice jack boots as well. Very cool. Very good looking figure. It's a very good representation of the Fleet Trooper. As for um, articulation, he does have a ball jointed neck, ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged elbows, swiveled the wrists, swiveled the waist, swiveled the hips, ball hinged knees, and ball hinged ankles. So he has a fair, fairly standard vintage collection articulation, but still very good. He doesn't need anything else. As for accessories, comes with quite a few. First up, his helmet is removable. Um, I don't know if it's with everyone's, but for some reason, mine doesn't fit exactly nicely. The chin thing's kind of too big, so it doesn't really go on the chin that well. But it's fine. We do have a nice head sculpt here. Of an older guy, which is kind of interesting. They chose an older guy. He has uh, some nice th short hair. It's nice gray detailing in it in the looks pretty good and then the eyes and the face is just nicely detailed and of course this had come with his uh, fleet trooper blaster which is pretty basic nice sculpt though and it does have a little bit of uh, silver paint detail on the barrel and he holds it well so that's cool he also comes with another accessory here which is the, like the scanner thing um, it really reminds me from the uh, target locator from Halo Reach, I think it is. It looks exactly like it, which is kind of funny. But if you remember in the movie, when the Millennium Falcon is uh, landing at Yavin, uh, a fleet trooper is in like a sentry tower and he's scanning the uh, Millennium Falcon. That's cool that they included that. Down here, you see he has like some flares or ammo or something on his boot. That's actually removable. So it's kind of cool. If you army build those, you can have some wearing it and some without. Um, and it is just kind of like a flexible plastic. And there's a peg in there and a hole in the back of the boot. And to keep it in place, the peg on the inside of this just pegs in there and it wraps around and it's fairly secure in there. And last accessory, he actually does have quite a few accessories. He does come with some more headgear. He does come with this uh, grayish baseball cap, which is cool. I think some of them wear it in the uh, ceremony of the fourth mo episode four. It's really cool. You can get him wearing it different ways you want. You make him wear it to his side if you really wanted to, or like that. Really cool. Overall this is a great figure though. All around it's a pretty sturdy figure. If you're a fan of the original trilogy or you need some more rebel troopers, I definitely recommend this guy. So thanks for watching and may the force be with you.